in the road grader. It's been tough because things have been so dry. Uh, I would love to get a little bit of rain. Um, we we're supposed to get a little bit of rain. We saw a little, we're supposed to get some more. I, I would love a, a whole bunch of moisture would really make grading the roads and compacting uh, a lot easier. Um, it's easier to shape and hold the shape when things are, are, are wet and binding and, and compacting better that way. You can, you can see behind me everything that we've excavated out of this hill, um, we've scratched out of there. We did blast once and I've kind of got a little bit of a, a knuckle over here that we need to probably either hammer or blast again and get that out of there. Um, our road goes through here, but we've been using all of this good rocky material for our, our ballast in our road. So we'll put in this foot and a half, two foot in some places of ballast, rocky ballast material that will carry the weight of the road. And then once we get utilities done and we kind of shape things up and clean things up, um, we're going to be able to go back in and then cap the road with finer material like road base or a three quarter minus or a five eighths minus gravel material to put on top and really make it just as smooth as silk. Um, so this is one of the things that we need to work on. I've got utilities that go through this as well, so hammering this, blasting this enough that we can put our utility trench through here or next to our road, that's going to be important. That'll be upcoming. Um, we've been running this great big Cobelco 300 and I, we absolutely love it. It's got massive, massive power, huge reach. Um, for example, we were loading uh, the dump truck with that 160 Blade Runner. Um, you can go back and, and see some of the videos that we, we started with that smaller machine on this rock pile. And we were loading in 8 to 10 minutes. And with this machine, we're loading in 3 to 4 minutes. We've cut that time in half, if not better. Um, which means our cycle times are faster, we've got, we're getting more material moved per hour in that truck. Um, so we're finding that, that running this bigger machine, not only does it, is it hit this rock a lot harder and tear it up, but it loads it a lot faster and we're able to move it around building roads a lot quicker. Um, so really happy with the Cobelco. Um, the SK300. Um, one of the advantages to this 300 is it's got additional counterweight uh, to the tune of about 4,000 pounds. They have additional counterweight at the back of that tail. Um, and that's to offset the um, coupler at the front and the larger bucket and still stay stable and balanced. Um, the guys at, at New Tech Machinery did this uh, to this machine and it's Boy, that extra counterweight and and bigger bucket is makes it's amazing. Um, I, uh, I I like the zero tail swing machines, but but I I guess on these larger machines with the larger buckets and couplers and all that weight out there a lot further, having that bigger counterweight makes a huge huge difference. Hey, hey so are you happy with this stuff?
So couldn't be happier with the SK300. It's getting a lot of work done. We've still got a lot of trees that we need to knock over in some spots and open things up. Trying to kind of get ready for winter is, is making sure that roads are wide and shaped and compacted and there's plenty of room to push snow because we're planning on keeping this development open through the winter. So as people want to come and look and, and check it out that we can get people in and out. So I'm going to be plowing roads out here all winter long. I, I want to make things easy for me and that's making sure that there's not too much crown in the road but there is enough crown um, that I've got trees and branches trimmed out of the way and there's places to push snow um, so we're working on that while we're out here as well um, so lots more to do on this 40 acre development and but the biggest one is going to be the push to finish the utilities in the next 120 days you know, before Christmas, get that wrapped up and be and have utilities done, slash piles burn, roads built, and be able to go into winter with with everything uh, ready, so we don't have anything that we've really got to come back and mess with other than maintenance stuff, Keep, keeping the radar the sorry regular maintenance stuff will be coming back for like running the grader and keeping the roads clean and smooth um, there may be a few trees that fall down or whatever I mean we had a few trees in a, in a windstorm fell over the road it was blocking traffic so we had to come out cut those up move them out of the way um, so there'll be that type of stuff but the, the heavy lifting stuff I would like to get done in the next um, 90 120 days that'll set us up for success and then as other projects come along that we'll roll into those in the springtime without still having pick up stuff uh, to do on this particular project um, so that's that's what we're working on that's what's upcoming um, and we'll keep you posted as as and as, as we're doing these things like blasting and pulling, pulling stumps and burning slash piles and putting in utilities, we'll keep the camera on and take you along as we do that. I've been feeling so small Watch the cloud taking off the wall But tonight I'm Spend my 